Welcome back everyone. Today we are continuing our spring cleaning series by heading into the living room. So we'll start by moving the furniture in one area and then vacuuming uh, or sweeping if you have a hardwood floor and you don't have a good vacuum for that. Uh, but we move everything out of the way and do a quick vacuum over the floor as well as any of the shelves that you have access to. Um, and then we will follow that by swiffering or again you could sweep if you need that extra step to pick up any extra things the vacuum didn't pick up um, but we'll swiffer to pick up a bunch of the dust um, and then we'll actually use a floor cleaner so you could mop um, if you have a hard floor otherwise if you have carpet vacuuming is kind of your last step unless you want to try and shampoo the carpet uh, but that would require an extra tool um, once you've done the floors I would go ahead and dust everything, pull it down, uh, make sure you dust the trim and the tops of your windows, places that you might miss normally. Uh, we continue then by heading to the walls and I wash all of the walls with a vinegar solution. So this will be three parts water, one part vinegar, or you could use it as three cups of water, one cup vinegar. Um, and I wipe down all of the walls just to make sure you get any of the dust. You'd be surprised how much dust gathers on the walls, um, as well as this will help cut down if you ever have like mold or just other allergens will catch on there. Um, so we'll wipe all of those down and once you wipe down the walls I move on to the windows and I will wipe down these just using typical like Windex or your favorite glass cleaner. Um, and I'll wash the inside. If it's nice enough out, I would recommend going outside and washing the outside of the windows as well, um, just so they're nice and clean. Um, this would also be the time if you want to like vacuum out or wash out the, like when you open your windows, the sills, um, and check your screens for holes and you can get those repaired at this time. Um, once we have the windows done, uh, I will move a bunch of the furniture around again and we'll kind of keep doing this throughout the living room of moving the furniture, vacuuming, sweep, mop, wash the walls, dust everything when you take it down. Um, this would also be a great time to sanitize any handles, um, things that you might normally miss perhaps vacuum out the couch or wipe it down if you have a leather couch uh, just to get any crumbs or anything like that out. Um, I would also take all of the pillows off of your couches, uh, throw pillows, and if possible, I would wash them um, or put them in the dryer, try and get some of the dust out. And if you cannot wash them, I would consider putting them in the sun just to try and disinfect some of that. Um, or wipe them down as well with some sort of cleaner. Um, you can see we continue washing all our walls again. Uh, this is also a great time if you do like to spray for bugs in the house. Uh, you move all the furniture, you can use some sort of bug spray um, against the corners and then you don't have to move your furniture in the future. Otherwise, uh, one thing we've started using is the ultrasonic pest repellents, and those seem to be pretty effective, but this is also a great time to plug them in so you don't have to reach behind the couch. Uh, one final thing that you could do during your spring clean up here is now that you have all of the furniture moved and everything off the walls, it'd be a great time to touch up the paint. Um, you can also see as we're going, I empty out all of our storage. So we have a coffee table that has storage in it. Um, and I empty that out completely and just pick and choose what we want to keep, get rid of, or just reorganize it. So it's nice to do this at least once a year, um, just so that you're not ending up with extra stuff, um, and it's easier to find everything. Um, so hopefully this helps you get started on your uh, spring cleaning. And if you like this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you wanna continue with your spring cleaning, uh, check out our other cleaning videos where we go into detail on spring cleaning your kitchen, including the fridge, oven, microwave, espresso machine, uh, coffee pots, 
your dishwasher and everything else. Um, thank you again for joining us and happy cleaning.